What's up guys? It's Lord Zayden. It's another guide video. This one's going to be about arena quests and why you should be doing them. Alright, first up we're going to go to the gathering hub. This is where you can see other players in your session. You can take arena quests and challenge quests and arm wrestle, do some other shenanigans. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Alright, once you get up here, you have two counters. The arena counter is on the left, and you'll have the quest counter on the right. You're going to make sure you take the arena counter. Alright, let's load it up. Alright, you've got a choice of arena quests and challenge quests. And i got a couple of them done, not too many, been working on it. Alright, you got challenges, which I have not done yet, but, you know, eventually. Okay. And you cannot do SOS's from these. You can only play these with people in your session, but it's okay. They're still doable solo. Okay, let's check these out. Got some arenas. Go ahead and check one of them out. Let's see, probably do Baros. Yep. Okay. All right. Go ahead and load this up. And once you get in here, you'll see that you have pre-made armor sets you can choose from. There's a really good way to get used to other weapons, try them out in a safe environment. It's also you know, a good way to check out other gear and stats and stuff. Make sure you eat your well done steaks because food does not count for this. Also drink your max potions. They should give you some at the beginning. Make sure you maximize your health and stamina. Alright, and once you get in here just kill your monster. We've got some traps and uh, bombs to let you play with so you can kind of make it a little easier. And no matter what you do, no matter what quest you take, just burn it down and uh, do your best. Try to get the best time. I unfortunately did not here. Yeah, 12 minutes, not good. It's okay. And at the end of this you get coins, as you can see, and some trading items, which you can sell for money. And the coins you're going to take to the Forge Master, and you can make new gear. Uh, I have the Supremacy Blade as a long, long sword user, which I think turns into Divine Slasher. Let's see. Go down here. It's at the bottom. Yeah, Divine Slasher. It's pretty good gear, pretty high attack values, um, definitely worth it. It's a bit of a grind, but totally, again, totally sellable, totally doable. You also get some armor sets that are unlocked. I'll go to the low rank. It is the Brigade set, which I only have... There's two of them you can unlock. I only have the first, the Brigade set. The second is the Guild Cross. It's built around defensive and uh, resistances. Uh, this is a pretty cool set, you know. As you can see, you got the feather in the hat. It's pretty sweet. Let's see, high rank, there we go, okay, and here's black, the black and silver looks, black, silver, and gold looks fantastic, and then the B is maroon, looks pretty good too, this bonuses are recovery, horn maestro, divine blessing, heavy are on uh, divine, geologist recovery, scholar, and geologist, and you got some pretty decent slots on the B rank, it's not bad, so uh, get out there, get your quests done, get your gear, and uh, if you like this, give me a like, thumbs up, Alright, you guys check it out, uh, take it easy. Peace.